This is this is my picture of Judy Dench in the award-winning film Cats that I painted live on stream with my sister. Dame Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. It's a, it, the likeness is oh striking. I think you, you you would argue beyond. It looks more like Judy Dench than Judy Dench. I mean, it's like she's in the room with me. <laughs> that gives me the in her juice. cat costume. No, see, that's the greatest prank of all time. What? Getting Judy Dench to dress up as a cat? It's stunning. It's actually stunning. It is. I mean, if if you're at the point in your career where you can take a paycheck to dress up as a cat, take it <laughs> in a it. maid costume. In a, it, in a maid co well, no, maid costume, that's very different. <laughs> people barely pay you for that. I can I can confirm that people barely pay you to dress up in a maid costume. <laughs> you gotta do it again. No! No, I do not! And we will not speak of it again! <sighs> I should have asked you if there was anything you didn't want me to bring up. <laughs> 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 Are there any topics you'd like to avoid? Like, I don't know, Judy Dench, the cat, and uh, the maid costume incident? The incident. <laughs> the maid costume incident. It's I love it. An it's become an incident now. Oh, my camera's a bit iffy. There we go. There we go. That's good. Woo. Right. Should we get started then? Let's go. It's the podcast of a generation with me, Miles Dobson. This week's guest, she's an actor, alien lover, and Machiavellian puppeteer, Sloane Avery. Hello. Welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. Uh, and I'm joined by the very special Sloane Avery. Hello. Aww, hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. You're very special. Oh, thank you. What are we drinking to this morning? And <laughs> Your favorite. Sell it as much as you can because I'm you... <laughs> going to I'm going to hate it immediately. Go on. You know you love it. It's your favorite coffee brand. <laughs> It's it's obviously Starbucks. It's mm -hmm. going to be a tall mm -hmm. caramel macchiato. Mm -hmm. And it has an extra shot. Mm -hmm. So that's, so that's two, two shots. shots. Mm -hmm. And it's with the blonde roast. Uh -huh. Okay, the blonde and roast almond is milk. very and, and almond milk and it's yeah. very important to that get, you the, get blonde the blonde roast. roast. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to let you try it first and then I'm going to explain. <laughs> it smells very sweet. Ooh. Hang on. It's going back in. Jesus, that's actually possible. Wow. <gasps> yeah, I got one. <laughs> Good lord. Now, now listen. The thing is, you need the extra shot. Why do you need the extra shot? Because aliens are real. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, honestly, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So you should at least take two. Right. Anyway. I, I, I mean, I don't... Uh, I Sometimes am, it's bad, but... Today mine's good. Is yours good? It's passable, you said. It's passable. I, for the record, I hate Starbucks. Look, honestly, I'm not going to eliminate Starbucks from sending me gift cards, but that's <laughs> on you. <laughs> yeah. Starbucks is never, this is not sponsored by Starbucks, by the no. way. I need to preface that. Uh, no. But oh but, my God, it would be hilarious if it was. Yeah. I would <laughs> love if their social media decided to come out of the woodwork and just be like, yo, what's up? Yeah. Try and start a fight with me. Um, <laughs> uh, the, yeah, I, I've never enjoyed Starbucks. I think that, that personally, they are a, 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 the bane of the coffee industry. Mm. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. Like, I honestly, if, if it wasn't the most widely available coffee, like, I think I just... I think I just got resolved in the fact that like there's always going to be a Starbucks, so you you got to find something there you like. Yeah. That's the same thing in Canada with Tim Hortons. Mm. I've never had Tim Hortons, but it is you atrocious. Know, <laughs> you know what I have in my cabinet, not here, but I have it in a different cabinet. 
a secret cabinet. I have a Jimmy's coffee mug. <gasps> wow. God, that's a, a throwback. Jimmy's, co Jimmy's coffee mug because my mom went to Canada and she loved Jimmy's coffee. Yeah. She loved it so much that she brought home a mug. And we drink Starbucks coffee out of it. <laughs> drink Starbucks out of it. And that's if that's not a metaphor for life, I don't know what oh, it is. Could, <laughs> it could be worse. It could be the donut Keurig cup. Come on. Yeah. Well, that's the because that's the thing is that we when, when I was talking to you previously or when we were talking about this episode, you originally had said that you have an espresso. So yeah, there's an espresso in my life. Yeah. So can you can you walk us through that drink? So this is called. Bed coffee. And so what bed you do, coffee. Yeah. Bed coffee. So you keep it in the bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. And you keep uh well you do you keep little tiny spoons. Okay, so the, you have the Nespresso, tiny spoons. Uh usually it's like the Pete's brand because Nespresso <laughs> is trying to rob us all. <laughs> <laughs> or or the Starbucks. No, 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 not Starbucks. Uh the Trader Joe's brand of coffee Trader pods. Joe's, yeah. but they get they're kind of thick so sometimes it it gums up your machine oh really yeah but you know um, it's like three dollars cheaper so there's um, that and then you have to you go and you turn on the machine and you go back into bed and then you wait until it makes a loud annoying sound and then, sorry, I have sensory issues. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> and you're like ah and so yeah. then you have to run to get the Starbucks, <laughs> it always goes back to Starbucks. I'm so sorry, I know, Miles. I know. The Starbucks almond milk, it's like almond milk and oat milk, the dairy free caramel macchiato creamer. Okay, you yeah. can get the hazelnut, but it's not as good. You could get the vanilla or the white chocolate mocha, not yes. as good. It's got to yes. be the caramel macchiato <laughs> because, <laughs> because you can take, <laughs> what did I say? You can take the, the basic out of the bitch but you can't you know what i mean <laughs> yeah 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 so you get the creamer and then you run back and then you wait and then you go and pour the creamer in and then the key is you top it off <laughs> with the pumpkin spice powder <laughs> from the grocery store <laughs> you've got to just and careful too because it'll pop out a lot like a lot you have to just lightly tap that's it. how they get you also the other thing is I have the TV next to the Nespresso. And so when I open up the Starbucks creamer, sometimes it goes splork. <laughs> onto the TV. Onto the TV. And yeah. you know what? I forget to clean it every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, God. So not only am I a menace. Yeah. But also I'm a mess. <laughs> yeah. Just a mess. Bed and coffee. then you and then, so recommend. you leave you leave the the splattering on the TV yeah. and then you take yeah. the cup back to bed. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you sit there for like forty five minutes contemplating your existence. Yeah, yeah. And avoiding what am I doing with my life? Everything. Yeah. yeah. And then and you're like, it's all good. Like, oh, I live in a world where everything's fine. And then you're like, oh no, there's only like two more sips of this bed coffee. And then you're like. <laughs> I have to go be a person now. Yeah, and then when you get out of bed, like your day. No, honestly, it's the best part of your day. But after that, your day sucks. <laughs> like no matter what you do, nothing is better than the coffee oh, moment. I'm sorry. I, I guess I. I guess we should have gone with that one then, rather than just the tall. Bed coffee might the bed be coffee. a bad thing. Oh yeah, it might uh, be a bad thing. Well, I just I couldn't find the bottle. I'm lying. I I didn't look that hard, but I couldn't find it in the places that I. Do you have I, Target in Canada? No, we don't have Target. What? Why? This is this is fascinating. Well, it's mildly interesting, uh, or it's mildly interesting, as I've now it's been told. I need to, it's mildly interesting. It's a mildly interesting fact. Um, Why? Target opened insane amounts of stores in Canada, like way too many stores, and then everyone in Canada was like. This is too many stores, and also it's cheaper if we just go across the border to the ones in the because they didn't keep the prices oh. cheap. So then, like, That's so cool. now everyone's just like, well, why should I? If I can drive to the border and go to the one in Detroit or Buffalo or whatever, why would I go wow. to the one that's that's more expensive? So then they wow. left. There's that, all of these empty stores that used to be targets that are now like see, nations and stuff are, like that. Are bullies, and that's what we've always said. <laughs> you you drove Target with your with your mean yeah. ways. Yeah, 
I drove Target out. Listen, don't don't lump me in. Just because I've lived here 10 years, don't lump me in with these Canadians. Don't worry, I know you're Australian. Don't worry. Oh, for God's sake! (laughs) I made it so far! I recorded so many episodes of this show without anyone doing that bit, and now it's going to be in this podcast. Yes! Oh, Oh, and it's me too. I'm so happy. It's my favorite bit. Sometimes I make that bit when I'm not even, you can't even hear me. (laughs) (laughs) I just make that joke to no one and then I chuckle to myself. So you're not Australian? Are you actually, are you actually curious about this? Are you just running the bit? I want your explanation. No, I'm not Australian. Quit lying. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not lying. This is an honest podcast. This is a platform where you you have to show yeah, your honesty. Have to, you have to, yeah, that, uh, yeah. Honesty and vulnerability sells, right? Uh, that's what I've always said. <laughs> I am not Australian. I have never been to Australia. I have what? No, I have no relatives that are from Australia. I have oh, no. I mean, I have. A, I have some half siblings that live in Australia now. Ha. Huh. Now, not that I was growing up, they haven't got accents. Are they trying to convert you? They're like, "Hey, come to Australia. You might no, fit in. not really. You might not feel really. like family here. Or maybe you're like secretly Australian. Like you know how people are like they find out later in life they're adopted. <laughs> I go on, who do you think you are? And it turns out that I'm like a ten percent Australian, and it's just the yeah. accent part that's the ten percent. Oh my god, I love it. It's I I I get it all the time. When it's even even when it's not the bit online on Twitch, mm-hmm. I like people. When I was making coffee, someone was like, oh, where in Sydney are you from? Because they knew what part of country I wasn't from. Wow, it's, that's brilliant. It's, no, no, it, I mean, sure. Well, I mean, it happens There's to me all the things. time. People are always saying, like, oh my god, you're you're from Texas, right? And mm-hmm. I'm like, Ugh. what gave it away? I'm not at all, but. <laughs> I do have the vibe. <laughs> yeah. It's you're the from, hair. You're from Nashville, right? Yeah. It's the right. other Texas. The other Texas. It's I Texas n- and LA combined. And maybe a little Vegas. Is it really? Texas Texas and LA? Yeah, because it's like, it looks a bit like Burbank with the hills right. and the beauty of, of Burbank compared beauty, to Hollywood. Beauty, quote unquote. Uh, <laughs> but it's Texas and it's... Uh, you you will see cowboy hats and boots. Oh, really? But it's also Vegas in the fact of everyone's having their bachelorette party there. Wow. At all times. Like, it's a, it's a constant bachelorette party. Wow, really? I, yeah, but, why would I ever leave? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> It's time to go home. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's bizarre. That's not something that I'd ever... Honestly, the only thing that I'm half remembering about nashville was was uh that it's like the the home of country or stadium country or something like that Yeah, it's music it's music city yeah so it's it's like america's music capital Mm. did i make that up did i coin that no but is that not but but is that not just just for country music though that it's the capital no it's actually a a lot of your favorite music has been recorded in Nashville. Like, oh, really? a lot of random... <laughs> you're like, oh, really? <laughs> I only I like Canadian bands. I, <laughs> Australian I bands, only come, like, on. come on. I run only with like B44. B44! Do, do Australians have bands? <laughs> I don't know what Australian band. I'd like to apologize to any Australian listeners that are Listen, I love listening Australia. to the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mary Kate Nashley went there, and it was the best one. If that is your baseline for Australian <laughs> culture, I am so it was sorry the to best everyone one. in Oz. Our lips are sealed. Okay, <laughs> great movie. Great, <laughs> great flick. Can I talk about that? Oh. Of course you can. Please, that's what we're here for. We're just yeah. Didn't... But is it struck? Oh, oh. See, I don't know. I feel like Mary Kate and Ashley are so. What do they do anymore? Say... What do they do anymore? They just show up to to. What would you do if you were if you were like Mary Kate and Ashley? Do they get residuals, or do their parents get the residuals? Did residuals exist? Yeah, come on, residuals (laughs) existed once. Yeah, but they were probably terrible. Not for us. (laughs) (laughs) Nah. Um. No. Honestly, I think they they run a fashion line now 
Oh yes, you're right. And then that's they have, why I've seen them at those. They have fashion the sister. Shows. Yeah, I've yes. been running into them in Australia. Yeah, I mean, the I'm there, there all the time at the Australian yeah. fashion show. You're, you're yeah. a fashion icon of Australia, are you not? <laughs> <laughs> do, do Australians have fashion show? <laughs> I really should go there. I know they got spiders. They do have spiders, yes. They do have spiders, and that's you just kind of deal with it. We kind of have spiders here in L.A., but they're, um, they're much smaller. <gasps> I saw raccoons! <laughs> like like in LA or just in so general? look listen <laughs> here I go it's midnight I went to the zoo there was a let raccoon me, let me set the scene all right it's set midnight the scene. Um, okay yeah, go go that's really all I had to set but it's midnight and I'm coming in and I'm on my phone because you know <laughs> I spat out my coffee <laughs> <laughs> because TikTok yeah. so I'm on TikTok and then I look up and I swear to God now look this is also gonna this is my other question were these raccoons? Baby bears or aliens? They were big and fat and round, and they yeah. were fluffy, and they had big glowy eyes. <clears throat> but did they have big long tails? Yeah, they did. They kind of yeah. It's not a bear. It's not a bear. But they looked like bear, like they were yeah. round like bears. Yeah, that's that's raccoons. Raccoons There's are two dumpy. Of them. And yeah, I had to go the same. Super dumpy. You know that moment when you're like, you say goodbye to your friend, and then you guys like are both walking the same way. Oh yeah, I hate that. That happened to me with these raccoons. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so they start going and I'm like, they look at me and they're like, oh shit, sorry. Like I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you yeah, carry good. on. Okay, I don't really okay. want to get into whatever you guys, I don't know if you scuffle or what, what, I don't know what raccoons I've never, this has never happened to me. <laughs> and so they start going and I'm like, oh man, they're going right where I have to go. So like, do I follow them? Like, yeah. so I just kind of, they're going D D D D D. And I was like. Well, if you can't beat them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then you dee. dumped into the trash. You helped them find the best bits. Honestly, I could have showed them where the best food was because it's definitely not in the garbage can outside of my place. <laughs> so I'm like, look, like you're going the wrong way, man. Maz is like three blocks down the road. Like yeah. this, Maz is the Italian spot that I go to. Uh, I see. I see. And the wine. But is it and good? they also, yeah, they make a caramel macchiato for me there too. Is it this, though? Because macchiatos aren't supposed to be this big. Miles has fallen in love with this macchiato. <laughs> I've had some of it. I feel like I can't have all of it because I shouldn't have two shots of espresso, but... Why? What happens? Do you turn into an alien? I've got anxiety! <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it makes me scared of everything and I have to go cry myself to sleep. Oh, mm. maybe I should stop drinking coffee. <laughs> That's what you've been doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew it was something. I was like, yeah, this can't be me. Yeah. No, no, no. I had to dial back. I had to dial back a lot. I used to have a shot every a shot of espresso every like hour or so while I was working to test it. What? Yeah. Did you get like shaky hands? No, no shaky hands. I'd have the heart palpitations though, and I'd feel really yeah. like weak. I'd just be yeah. like, oh God. Yeah. But my, my, my body was so exhausted, but my brain was like, hey, let's go. Let's go yeah. jump on cars. Like, what do you want to, like, like, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever suits your fancy, Miles. <laughs> right? Yeah, and I just can't do it anymore because I, I, I don't know whether it's the anxiety or I'm just old or both. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably all of it. Yeah, probably yeah. all of it. Yeah, you're right. You like almond milk? Do, do you like oat? Are you like oat milk guy or no? Yeah, I used to be vehemently against oat milk, but I found that okay. over the years, oat milk has gotten a lot better now. Is it? Okay. Because the first, the first types of oat milk that I would make coffees with tasted like oatmeal. Yeah. It's when a you bit drank nutty. it. Oh, God. That is, a, that, is a, that is a deep cut reference for a <laughs> lot of my Alex! audience. Hey! <laughs> oh, I can't talk about that either. Wait, can we? So you can't talk about, is that the rule? You can't talk about any content. I, th I mean, look, I, I guess I think I can't talk about, I can't promote. Yes. So, so can we, I, can I like shit talk? Can I be like, oh man, that movie I mean, sucked. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. Which, I, I like that's think, not promoting. No. I feel like is, is it not my understanding from, from the other SAG members that I've had, um, on the podcast, excuse me, finish the sentence. Um, <laughs> is is, <laughs> is that it, it's if you're 
like you can't promote work, especially from a contractual space. So right. you can't be like, hey, yeah, let's talk about my brand new movie. Right. It's coming out this fall or whatever, right? But you also can't promote the only thing in the world that I want to talk about right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, this is a personal attack on me, I think. Yeah. To prevent me from talking about a certain doll. Mm-hmm. That I've dedicated my life to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annabelle, of course. <laughs> Annabelle, yeah, yeah, Chucky. <laughs> Chucky, of course. <laughs> Obviously, it's Charles, but uh, no. It's, uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm not uh, anything that anything that's dicey will just cut. But it, I, I, I can't like talk it's... about anything. Can't talk about Bruno. Can't talk about <laughs> the other fever. <laughs> like I'm just like, what can I talk about? Mm. Aliens. Well, we can, see. That's we can what talk they did. It. We can talk around it. What they've done we, is they've set up a strike just to distract us from that there's aliens, but now there's aliens, so now they're distracting us from the strike. <laughs> Why do you think... Okay, this was a question that came up for me when I was looking at this, these alien, this alien thing. Why Let's do you think, go! Le, why do you... See, I do you like how I'm hosting here? Look at that pivot <laughs> away from the things you can't talk about. What, <laughs> why, is it that, why is it that the aliens keep showing up in the States and nowhere else? They're not in Australia? <laughs> what do they have there? Honest to God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all have there in Australia? What is the hype about? <laughs> Yeah. So if any, yeah, why, if, if, if maybe, any fans maybe, of Sloan are, uh, are Australian, please send as a, a very long edit on TikTok. Could you send me you, like a yeah, like a map. Yes, like, dear Sloan. So, and and like, uh, yeah, on that. On is there the a Disneyland spinning, there? No, I don't think there's a Disneyland in Australia. Well, then what? Then it doesn't exist. If there's no Disneyland, it doesn't count. Not yet. But there are. I bet there's aliens because. But maybe maybe you guys just like. You Can you stop saying with you guys like I'm Australian? <laughs> stop it. Stop. Maybe you, maybe the Australian folk mm. I do, they're just used to them. Like spiders. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They just deal with them. Yeah. They just deal with the, with the spiders and the aliens. Yeah. So but, it's just, it's just, a, it's just, they're, they're like, no, it's whatever. It's fine. Well, I would rather fight an alien than a spider. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because I mean, they're no massive. one's asking you to, but... <laughs> well, when it comes down to it. <laughs> when it comes down you know, to it, you're on the front line of the spiders. Look, no, 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 you're you fighting know what the side I'm on. Yeah. That could be a movie. Spiders versus aliens? <laughs> Way better than cowboys. Way better than cowboys. And we're not talking about any particular movie. We're just talking about if cowboys were to fight aliens just, in some nondescript... Just, yeah, completely unrelated to. I don't completely even know what unrelated. you're talking about. I actually did no. see that movie and it was all right. Was it? I actually don't. I think it. I think I went in thinking it's going to be real bad. Mm. You know when you get everybody tells you, "Oh, this movie's amazing," and then you watch it and you're like, "Like you guys are on crack." Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I hate that because sometimes a movie is amazing and then I won't give it credit. I try not to overhype movies when they're really good, but I fail a lot of the time, especially if it's something that I'm super excited about. I end up, I end up just like, oh, I'll spoil then, the shit out of something. Oh dude. no, you're one oh, of those like, people. Oh yeah. no, specifically for movies, but television. If somebody spoils, like my mom loves to spoil, like when we were watching Succession, she was like, oh yeah, like blah 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 happens, and I was like. Don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, do not movie, talk to me about wait, that. Wait, but, but movies are fine to spoil, but TV movies shows are fine aren't? because at some point you'll see it. TV show, you might never see it. Or you might not see it for 10 years. You know what I mean? But that's the same with movies. No, because like movies, you watch a movie and then you never have to watch it again. <laughs> Hang on. You need to explain this logic to me. Hang on. So, <laughs> yeah. When you watch a, when everybody's watching a movie, it's like, oh, oh my God, the notebook is out. Oh, yeah. we can talk about that. It's like been a million years. Yeah. Like, oh, everybody, eventually you know you're going to see the notebook. So it's like wh whether you find out what happens, it doesn't matter. You're going you're gonna to find out what happens. And you, you had a limited time to miss. I feel like this a little bit about TV, actually. You had a time where it was like, all right, you have a week where we're going to be quiet. And then after yeah. that, it's like, 
we're going to talk about Fight Club. You know what I mean? Like, we're right. going to have to talk about it. Yes. We're not just going to never reference it again. But also, I love memes, so I'm always, like, I follow mostly, like, movie and television meme accounts. Like, specifically, like, Kendall Roy <laughs> meme accounts. <laughs> just Kendall Roy and, like, Connor Roy meme accounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have one of each. Nice. Um, but yeah, so like, yeah, eventually I'm the meme accounts get they're gonna keep it a secret forever. No, watch the movie. I, I understand. <laughs> I understand what you mean. So like, so like, you wouldn't mind spoilers about Twin Peaks, even though you might not have seen the whole show. Exactly. It's like right. w like Riverdale. I'm yes. probably not gonna watch that. Go yes. ahead and tell me what's up. What right. happened? Right. Who's right, got right. powers now? You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think they, they, have they, they, now. they really, they really uh, tried everything on that show. Um, <clears throat> okay, I so I understand. Sorry, this this the Starbucks is drying my throat out. <laughs> 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 that is so harsh. You're being Ugh. so mean to Starbucks. It's, it's... What do you prefer? So, like your dream coffee. What's your dream coffee? My dream coffee is is. Uh, a single shot of espresso. See, I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't tell this in case I do an episode. Someone else tried to get this out. Sam tried Ooh. to get this out of me, okay. and I was like, I should save this for the episode where I'm being interviewed yeah. for a very special episode. Yes. Okay. So, what's your second choice coffee? My second choice, um, probably just like a, an actual macchiato, which is like mm. not this. It's just mm. a shot of espresso <laughs> with a little bit of foam on top and like a, okay, yeah. a dab of milk. That used you know, to be my go-to. I used to just knock those back when I was feeling fancy. What What's the point of the foam? <laughs> um, what's the point of the foam? Yeah, it's not. It's what What is the foam made of? Milk. What is what it? Mean, what's it made? Is it of? actually no? Yeah. Because like, it's microfoam. I just don't see the point. Okay, right. But so you use. Re you like regular milk or you like almond milk no so milk? that would be no i wouldn't use regular milk because that would that would make me uh uh die um it's <laughs> it's so i'd use almond or oat milk okay got it yeah or, or, or when i was doing macchiatas i was having soy milk but i've moved away from okay. soy i've elevated my lifestyle to a to a more like there was a, almond based yeah there was a time when soy was everything and now people are like <laughs> I don't even know her. Well, also there was that that misread study went viral where everyone was like, that "Oh, that never it, happens." Yeah, where uh, there was a thing where it was like, "Oh, if you drink soy milk, it 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 um it what? destroy it, it like overloads your estrogen levels." Um, That's amazing. And the study that everyone quotes that from is in menopausal women, in postmenopausal women, soy milk will oh, mess so with I your can't estrogen have any levels. Soy milk. Yeah, sorry. Avoid the soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to know. Let's yeah. See, this is an educational podcast. I, that, listen, I, I don't promise much, Am but I you will get... talking too far away from the mic? No, you're great. Okay. No, your levels are fine. No, you're great. Levels? <laughs> yeah, so, so the microphone is... Are you asking what the point of the foam is? or Just or... take the shot. Instead of, instead of, yeah, take the shot. Put caramel in it or take the shot. Put caramel in it? It's so good. Do you just, yeah, do you enjoy coffee without like sweetener in it or anything? So I went to a vegan event where they had Kona coffee and it was delicious and I had it straight up. What is Kona coffee? Is that a, is that a, a roastery? It's like Kona is like, I think it's a bean. <laughs> It's a bean. K -O -N -A. And it's in Hawaii. It's Kona Hawaiian. coffee. Kona. Oh, yeah. It's a roasters. Yeah, it's a roasters. It's, it's and it was Hawaiian so good. Hawaiian coffee. It was mm -hmm. the best coffee I've ever had. Um, it is one of the most expensive coffees in the world. All right. So. You just flaunt your wealth everywhere, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. All, all of my residual wealth. Wealth. Yeah. All That's those, what all those, for. all the, that residual one wealth. <laughs> Look, I will say there is a, there is a very fun. Well, it was funny the first few times when you get a residual check and you're like, "Ha, huh, drinks on me," and it's like sixty one cents, and you're like, mm. "But now it's less funny." Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, get yeah, that yeah. bit got old quick. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. It's going to date the episode. I, this is this is the thing: is like recording a podcast with SAG actors 
yeah. during a strike is that just everyone wants to talk about the strike. But I really want to talk about aliens. It's the aliens. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Once again, the Simpsons came through for us. Absolutely. They have been telling us that there are aliens. But do you? Th okay, but you didn't explain to me why you th why aliens come to Australia. Uh, Australia, God damn it, come to your homeland, the U.S. Because this is the we need to figure it out over here. And mm -hmm. I think aliens, they want to explore all of the really great things that America has to offer, <laughs> <laughs> like fame and skims. Yeah, skims. and Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> And Nashville. Aliens want to be famous. They want to be famous. They want to go to bachelorette parties. They want to ride on a bus that they have to pedal with their feet and drink beer. They've Why got those in Toronto now. They, they haven't had them for ages and they've got them in Toronto now. Do they? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, I gotta go to Toronto. You do. It's, I mean, Toronto is where it's happening. We've got, we've got a bunch of women on bicycle bars and... and uh, the only problem with me for that is that I hate going on a bike. Oh, you, yeah, so you just want to be in a... So you, you want to be on a party bus is what you're saying. Yeah, I will not be pedaling. Uh -huh. Everybody will be pedaling for me, and they'll be like, oh, my God, Sloan, why aren't you pedaling? I'll be like, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, but I'm you don't not, drive. You I'm just lazy. do the pedaling so that they can go forwards. Why don't we just sit, like, stationary? and we just, Why don't we just go to a bar? Yeah, just go to a bar. That's not outside where people are watching us. Yeah. I don't you know really I mean? see the point. Like, I don't really see the point of it, apart from it being a unique experience, quote unquote. I feel like that's a decision you make when you've already had a few beers. And you're like, let's get on one of those things. And then you're on there and you're like, this is labor. <laughs> this is work. Yeah, it, it, it is. And it's tiring. You're burning off the beers or whatever. The I would have thought it makes you drunk quicker. Maybe that's the point. You know, because your blood's racing a lot more, so you drink one drink and it hits you harder. That was that would be my that guess. That makes sense. That actually makes sense. Well, then what? You know what? I'll give it a go. <laughs> I'll get. Look, I'll try it. You've convinced me. Yeah. You Australians are wild. Like I like. Okay. That's, that's what a... we're gonna do. <laughs> mm. But aliens are real, though. I hope so. I mean, the universe is way too big for it to not be real. They've been telling us that it's... Oh, yeah, I feel so bad for the, the poor people that have been telling us all along. And we're like, they're crazy. <laughs> Don't yeah. believe them. Yeah. And now they're like, yeah. I saw... So I was just watching this TikTok um, right before I got on here with you. Because I was like, I was like, oh, I wonder if there are any like questions we could, we could talk about about aliens. And it was this girl... She had like, and I'm, I saved the TikTok so I can send it to you. I know you love TikTok. <laughs> and it's like, this girl has these like wires that go like this. And she starts talking to her grandpa who's dead. And she's like, Are, she calls him a weird thing. And, and now I've said that's a weird thing. It's probably like grandpa in Italian or something. But it's like, she's like, oh, uh, grandpa, like, are aliens real? And then they start like going in and I think in means yes and, and out means no. And she starts asking all these weird questions and then he's like, she's like, uh, oh, do they, if, do they know they're aliens? Like are some of us aliens and we don't know it? And it was like, and I was like, this is not reliable. And she's like, yeah. she's like, oh, also you can get, uh, she has a podcast. She's she like, has can, a podcast? Yeah. And you, she was like, you can also get private sessions with me to ask my grandpa things with the wires. And I was like, I got to do oh, it. Oh, for God's sake. Well, okay. You got to do I, it for the bit. Well, this is the question for, that that brings up for me because I'm a huge skeptic. Okay. I'm a huge skeptic and, and uh, 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 very cynical. So like I see, I hear about that and I see someone scamming for money. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but, I respect the hustle. The hustle, for sure. But I am I love very... a creative hustle. <laughs> Especially on TikTok. The amount of people on TikTok that are just scamming people out of money. The filters. It's wild. Um, but I'm very aware that, like, astrology is having a comeback right now. I think, is it? Okay. Yeah, astrology is getting really, like... What are your thoughts on astrology? Astrology, I think it's all bollocks, personally, but that's just me. As as a as a 
has a skeptic and and what have you i think it's all about that and tarot because yeah. tarot readings as well you know like kind of like palm readings and what have you um oh yeah but my question is as someone that wants the aliens to be real do you buy into that stuff as well does is there an overlap i don't want them to be real you don't but i'm also oh, okay. not mad at it you know what i mean Okay. Like, I like to be in the know. I like to, I don't like to be, I don't want to be one of those people that went my whole life and didn't know aliens were real or like didn't encounter one. You know what I mean? In my lifetime, I have lived through uh, the Kardashians, 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the Kardashians was first. <laughs> I think, I mean, yeah. I've, I've lived through uh, a global pandemic. Yeah. A historical strike. Mm -hmm. Pete Davidson. <laughs> and now aliens. Yeah. I'm bulletproof. That's it. So I feel like I could be trusted with the information of aliens are real and still go about my business and not, it wouldn't really change anything about my life. I don't think it would. <laughs> not honestly. Really good and I'm not scared of it. Yeah. I was probably more scared of the raccoons. To be fair, but I've lived with the concept of like, oh, maybe aliens are real my whole life. I mean, I didn't believe it, but now I'm like, well, shit. All right. But I'm just nothing phases me anymore. No. After the pandemic, you're just like, whatever. I'm like, what? Dinosaurs were real, too. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. No, whatever. I get Throw it. some aliens in. Throw them in. Throw them yeah. in the ring. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I'm I kind of balance on that line between like being scared about what it could mean if if aliens have shown up to like the positive because because i you know i'm what's well, positive well, well okay like, i think of tell it, us? no i think about it like uh you know the gene roddenberry uh which we won't talk about the particular brand that gene roddenberry created but we will I say no the gene roddenberry um the the adventure through space that is not a battle if you'll if you'll catch on to what i'm talking about so not star wars oh for god's sake god damn <laughs> fine star that... trek star trek the I star trek say, idea... i was like i was like i thought that was george lucas letting me down slow come on the the, <laughs> the, the starbucks <laughs> uh the um the gene roddenberry idea is that like you know they come down and they are benevolent and they mm. they help guide us towards um you know advancing civilization um they're doing and, a shit job i mean well they're not yeah they're not showing their faces right now and that's the thing mm -hmm. do they show their faces or do they not you know? i mean if i if this was my best work i wouldn't show my face mm. and yet here i am <laughs> mm. yeah no, same, honestly, honestly. I think I think that what I want to know is like what is so great about them. You know what I mean? Like we do so many cool things as people that mm. I'm like, all right, well, so all I've heard is that you guys like float around in a little aircraft, like big whoop. We do that. You know what I mean? Like what else? Also, like their fashion is terrible. Which okay, which fashion are you basing this off of? You know the green guy with the big eyes, where he's and not you, wearing any clothes. Yeah. Right, okay. Weird how he looks like a person, but yeah. alien. Yeah. I think it's a man in a suit. Definitely. Well, I want to see a real one, though. I think. I don't know. I, I think, I think as a, as a sci-fi nerd, the... the <laughs> I, would, I would love to see how we handle it if we can't figure out how to communicate with another species because... Yeah. Like, it, it, like there was always... Because uh, I was into this for a very long time, not like the truth is out there or anything. Just like I'm. Are you going to say Doctor Who? <sighs> no, I wasn't going to say Doctor Who. But uh, the there's like there's you know like if you were trying to communicate with a lion, for example, say a lion could mm -hmm. talk and had intelligence. Mm -hmm. The lion's point of reference for what everything is would be so completely different to what it is for yeah. us that like it would be a huge undertaking to try and figure out what the hell it's saying. Yeah. Like, the sun would not be 
the sun, it would probably be like something completely different because of their frame of reference is so like different to to humans. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I would love to see us try and deal with that because I have a feeling that it would just end up, we get really frustrated and blow them up instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's no, just it's be funny. Like, no, they're doing it on purpose. Blow them up. Yeah. They're just being, you know, antagonists. They're not, they're not really here for us. But no, it's funny. My, my friend was actually saying this to me yesterday. She was like, oh, yeah, I bet they, they have injured people or hurt people because we we come at them with guns and i was like i bet i bet there's some people that have dedicated their life to discovering uh aliens and they're probably like way more into this than like yeah let's this i don't understand this let's kill it (laughs) you know what i mean i think they're probably a little bit more like oh my god it's like it's like when you you see somebody that's like, no, it's it's not scary. It's like like the raccoons. It's like if I just went down and pet, no, they're sweet. Somebody's yeah. out there doing that with aliens. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean you know? the SETI people and all that kind of stuff. The SETI people are probably like l- losing their minds about this stuff right now. So you really don't think aliens exist anywhere but America? No, no, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> you think they only think, come I, here? No, no, it's just that the reports are always like, it's always like a U.S. thing that you hear about, like maybe the U.S. The is the, the only people that are interested. Are interested? So everyone else in the world is just like, oh yeah, look, there's a light, and then they carry on. They're like, we're out, look, we're busy. Yeah. Okay. You guys yeah. handle the alien thing. We're gonna deal with our other stuff. Like, you know, we're gonna we're gonna you know what we'll do? We'll take all of your productions over here while you guys <laughs> handle that handle that alien thing. And you bring you bring your Lord of the Rings over here. We'll take care of it. <laughs> but you guys, you guys keep an eye on those aliens, okay? So that's the real that's the real conspiracy. It's not that yeah. it's been under wraps. It's that it's a smokescreen. The aliens caused this to get the, the whole thing to get scab actors to get and go and <laughs> <laughs> get people to move out of the country. Yeah, that's it. They're all moving. They're all moving to the UK to go and do. It's that, it's that or fight aliens at this point, because that's what yeah. the U.S. is preparing for. Now, look, why are they telling us now? Something's up. Something's that is coming. The real, that's the real thing. That's the real question. Why And now? I'm like, thanks for the heads up. Is it or is it just that they want to di- distract? Is it, is it that the alien thing was just a distraction because of X, Y, and Z? Because, I mean, Mitch McConnell did just have a stroke on live television. I think... I would have a stroke if somebody was in my ear saying aliens are real. I'd be like, oh my God, are they with me right now? Yeah. Are they in the yeah. room? Yeah. Yeah. Are they in the room? Yeah. No. I, I, yeah. What else is real? So if the, now we're open to all the possibilities. Vampires? Vampires. Really open for vampires. Well, that's the thing. I was like, we're, we're talking about extraterrestrial, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's like, maybe it's magic. Right? Oh my God. Maybe Hogwarts? it's magic. Maybe it's time travelers. Who Doctor says who? it's aliens? It's, a, it's Doctor Who. It all comes back to Doctor Who in the end. It all comes back to David Tennant. He probably believes in aliens. Have you watched the show? Have you watched Doctor Who? I watched David Tennant, Matt Smith. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. You didn't go on to Peter Capaldi, or uh... I don't think I'm in my Peter Capaldi phase of life yet. Mm. And then also Matt Smith left. Yes. That was hard did. for me. Yeah, the Van Gogh episode sobbing. Tony Tony Curran is the reason why I have an agent. No way. Yeah, very long winded story, but Tony Tony Curran is the reason that I have an acting agent right now, and the reason why I have a career. Oh my god! (laughs) And it all started because of his Doctor Who episode. That's so funny. Aww. I I know. I'm gonna try and get him on the podcast one day when I yeah. have the, when I can when I can muster up the courage, yeah, to uh, to DM him. Be Look, like, hey, maybe for your special episode where you I'll get him reveal... to interview me. That would be that would be the most unhinged. <laughs> that would be the most unhinged interview I could possibly imagine. <laughs> that, would that would be, be great. great. Yeah, yeah. So you stop watching at Matt Smith. Are you going to yeah. watch? Are you going to come back to the show? When, uh, when the, the, when they come back now in, uh, in, in the fall, are you aware of what's happening? What is happening? Do you, 
do you care about spoilers? It is a modern TV show that you haven't seen yet. Yeah, spoil me. Because I've got to catch up because there was, well, we had Peter Capaldi and then we had the girl. We had Jodie Whittaker, yes. I loved her in Black Mirror. Yes. I have opinions about her, the, the run that she I, was in. Listen, Doctor Who, I'm sorry. It should have always been Tenet. It should have never been anybody That's else. That's not how the show works. It got weird. You can't, I feel weird about so many things. Because. See, but we can then, talk about but, Doctor Who because it's a UK production, so we're fine. Oh, loophole. Loophole. So, <laughs> Doctor Who should have been Tenet the whole time. But also he had to go and be in Harry Potter and stuff. I get that. I, I feel that. But. <laughs> They bring him back sometimes. And I'm like, they want to keep him. He's like the best Bond. He's a little like the best Bond, yeah. Who is... You're going to say Daniel Craig. No. No? No. There's it's, a different, it's a different thing. I think he was good in Casino Royale. See, we've moved away. We've moved back to US productions. Now. Isn't, no, that's a co-production. Um, but Daniel uh, Craig's British. Yeah, but the movie isn't. It's not. No, no, it's MGM. Um, so, Love them. okay, all right, <laughs> hang on. So you didn't watch Christopher Eccleston's run? No. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I should watch that. I should watch more. I need to go back to it. Doctor just, Who is Just fantastic. start from the beginning, and you've got, you've got enough time now. Just box set everything. God, remember box setting. Binge yeah. everything. And then, and then, uh, cause, cause Peter Capaldi's last season is some of the best, best who there is in my is opinion. Is it? Who's yeah. your favorite Doctor Who, uh, big bad scary? Oh. See, it's such a cop out to say the Weeping Angels though. I know the Weeping Angels are good. I like that scary thing that like when you, when you walk away you know what I mean? When you look away. That's, yeah. That's not the, the angels, though. Yeah, no. that's the, yeah, you look no, away. No, the one with it, the crack? The one with the crack? The crack in the wall. It's like Matt Smith's, like, first episode. Yeah, oh, but that's, what? <laughs> yeah, the one you with look the away. You look away? What are you talking about? When you look away, it's, like, closer behind you, and it actually it looks like an alien. <laughs> when you look away, it's closer behind, you're mixing your episodes up. The crack. The crack in the wall. <laughs> the crack in the wall. The crack in the wall does not get closer to you as you look away. No, not the crack in the wall. It's the episode of the yes, crack the, in the, the wall. Yes, the 11th hour. Yeah. Why is the crack and, in the wall? Uh, why are you asking the internet? You have a Doctor Who nerd right in front of it's you. It's the one. It's in the wall. What, the eye? Yeah. What, the Atraxi? A giant eyeball? Is that the one? In the crack in the wall episode, you realize the crack in the wall was the entire season, right? There were there were cracks in the wall throughout that season. But when the lights flickered out, that's you are getting your episodes mixed up, love. Is it? Yeah, the weeping angels are the ones that get closer to you when you're not looking at them. And the crack in the Why wall. Is the weeping angels. Yeah, because when you is, look at them. Yeah, there is an episode that has the crack show up with angels in it. That's, that's in a spaceship the one. with River yeah. Song. Yeah. That's... Oh, yeah, with River Song. Look, Listen, I told you, I, that's a problem I, I am a new, character. I am a new who nerd. I I know too much about this show. I liked that one. It was very good. I, I agree. It was a very very good season. Season five. I the liked it a lot. The like fat robots are kind of meh. The fat robots. And they use them every every. Oh, time. the Daleks. Yeah, they love those things. They're not scary. Yeah. They're that's... basically Teletubbies. Like that's yeah. what yeah, is that? Th yeah, that was that was the thing that, that that's a that's a throwback from from the black and white era of television yeah. where where they'd never done anything like that before and kids used to hide behind the sofa because it was so scary and then you look at it and you're like, What is so scary about this? You think that's scary? Watch Chucky. I hid behind the sofa. <laughs> and in fact, Chucky hid behind the sofa as well, which so then that wasn't a safe spot. Not a safe spot. Kids, kids back in the day. Back in my day. Of, they were scared of things that are not. They, look, we've got real stuff to be afraid of now, like aliens. Well, I mean, now horror is all about like psychological stuff now. It's not, it's not really about like the doll comes to life and kills you. It's about like, oh, 
grief has become personified and is chasing you throughout time Horrible. and space. Horrible. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's so true. Yeah. Or like, like, oh, you're being chased by a sexually transmitted infection and whatever. Yeah. It's, it's way more like, um, like personal. Yeah. It's like, it's not just like a universal fear for everybody. It's like, no, this only happens to people with, you know, yeah. anxiety or sensory issues or something. Yeah. 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 It's Although so I haven't, specific. I haven't, I, did you see, um, oh, see, now we're talking about work again. Well, I don't watch anything because I'm on strike. Yes. Uh, so yes. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say. I only watch Australian productions. Things like, well, that's why I was going to say, like the Babadook and stuff like that. I liked, see, I liked that one because it was just absurd enough. You know what we can talk about? Tell me. I think. Video games? <laughs> Video games? Yeah, we can talk about video games. So, I've been playing the hell out of Hades, honey. <laughs> oh, now we're talking! That's my yes. game! Yes! I've been playing Hades, yes. and I, spoiler alert, I saved the mom, okay? And now, I'm out here winning trophies. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've been cranking up the heat. Oh, the, yes, the challenges. Yes, 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 yes. But listen... The thing about Hades is I don't actually know what I'm doing and I'm just clicking buttons. And it's very fun. And that's what I'm doing with my time off. <laughs> <laughs> I make my little bed on the couch, yeah. I pull up Hades, and I put on... I could talk about reality TV, right? Claim to fame. I don't know. I, I could talk about claim to fame. Yeah. It's reality. Yeah, but is reality still working for companies, isn't it? No, because you can still be on a reality show. How? Okay, how does that happen? Because how they're all still scripted in some capacity. Yeah. Are they using? Is it like the? Is it like the 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 General Hospital thing where they're they're using struck struck writers, but it's like a yeah. complicated issue. Yeah, I think I think so. Oh, but I scab mean, writers, excuse me. But you know what it you know what it is? It's probably like their dream scenario, which is where the producers write it. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's more like, all right, let's put you all in a room. Now go do this. Now go do that. Like, it's maybe more suggestions rather than writing. Yeah. And then the people are writing it by improving it. I want to have a birthday party where we rent a big ass mansion and we just put hidden cameras in it everywhere. And then everybody just goes in and just starts drama. As a character or just literally just brings their you. drama to the party and starts Up to fights? You. I just want somebody to come sit down next to me and be like, I think we should. I think we should vote Miles out. I really do. Like, oh, there's a voting the, system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. And it's it's all it's all of the rules from all of the all of the shows. So it could be it, you can sabotage in any way you want. We can have mm. challenges. We can. Uh, yeah, we can have confessional booths. Wow, this is a this is a big endeavor for a for a wait. Is this a birthday party or just a yeah. party? Is it a birthday no. party? Yeah. This is a yeah. big this is a big endeavor for it a could, big put. It could get murder mystery with it. So you've done okay. This is this is something that I do know is that you do like a, a, a murder mystery or like those kind of parties, right? I love a theatrical experience, yes. I love I love whenever I can get a bunch of people in a room, especially when they're not all friends, and make them interact with each other. It's Force them to my, interact. It is one of my favorite things. And when people that I know as shy have to dress up and then also talk to people they don't want to talk to, they don't know. And uh, if they have to use an accent, even better. Wow. So you are just, you're basically a just a director. You're, you're, you're a villain director. Yep. 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 Wow. And that's, your, that's everyone's present to you is just having to put through their own personal trauma. To... And they always have fun. Like... Nobody's they ever tell gone. You they this have kind fun, of... or they actually have fun. I see them have fun uh, because I, okay. I always play a character that either dies or uh, <laughs> I, I give myself a very important role. Yeah. So that I can be like watching everybody. Right. And it's so it's like, so it's like it's like puppets. 
I'm this is this is slowly becoming a therapy session and I'm loving it. I love to play puppet. <laughs> when I was a little kid, my favorite thing was a puppet show. I wanted to have a puppet show and then I would make people come to it. And my you brother just was like people to come to your puppet show. My brother literally like started a war in our family and was like, I'm not going to another fucking puppet show. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, it got that intense. Yeah. Wow. But he comes to see all my movies now, so it's fine. Yeah. Jeez. But yeah, it's uh Yeah, but there's no puppets involved, that's why. Well <laughs> <laughs> I should have worked for Jim Henson. Oh yeah? That because I loved puppets. But you've got to you've got to have the do you have the artistry skills to like make the thing because usually the people oh no have they to were the, the my puppet first. shows were bad yeah right 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 D don't get it twisted they weren't good puppet shows but the production value was high yeah except it the wasn't set design it was, the set design was good the puppet design was not great no it was a sock no. with one ping pong ball stuck to it yeah. and whatever <laughs> right yeah yeah how do we get to puppets. I have no idea. Oh yeah, my you, you secret like being big brother a puppet house. Master, you like being a puppet master. Yeah, so I want to mm -hmm. do. I love to do like a murder mystery, and they always have to have a theme. Like I had a 1920s one. Mm -hmm. I had a, a Disney princess one. Mm -hmm. Um, I've done a Clue one. I didn't host that one, mm -hmm. but I did go as Elvis. Right. Obviously. I was sorry. I was an Elvis impersonator. Oh, not actually Elvis. You were uh huh. So that meant that your impression was, it didn't matter if your impression was good or not, because you're just a bad impressionist. At that, at that I, point. Look, it was bad, but the outfit was fire. <laughs> I, I think the only thing Elvis I, I did, which isn't even really Elvis, is I was like, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit more Johnny Bravo than Elvis. Hey, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hey, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a little Fonzie, but little, actually little I did get real Fonzie. I did. I was I was pretty Fonzie with it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. People could just presume I'd... you were playing being the Fonz. Hey, look. He could have been an impersonator of Elvis. He might you know? as well have been. Didn't he Basically. love Elvis? Or I'm thinking yeah. of John Stamos. Oh, I don't know. Have you ever done a murder mystery party? No. Why? You have the maid costume. Um, again, would <laughs> I was the maid too when we you did were the, the maid when, when uh, we did the clue. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see, and I, see. I got I got killed with the rope. Oh dang! In the, ball, oh, in the billiards room. In in the billiards room, I was like, "Hey, don't threaten me with a good time." <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I have never done one. Um, Mostly because a lot of my friends are just introverts, and it's much more enjoyable for just 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 to like play a board game or something than than do that kind of. I don't have a lot of uh, actor friends in town mm. in Toronto. Mm -hmm. A lot of my actor friends are in LA, unfortunately. So I, <laughs> I could be the guy. You're gonna have to make the trip. I know. I'm gonna have to eventually. It's pretty far from Australia, but it. I think once you get here, you'll enjoy. Yeah, it. I think it's like a 26 hour flight or something like that. Jesus. 17. That's hours. why I'll never it, go. It's 17, hour, 17 and a half hours to Singapore because that's the I've been, I've done that flight. Ooh, no. Yeah. If I have to fly six hours, I'm like, this is the end of me. I can yeah. do it. I yeah, can't for go real. on. No, I, I get it. If I were meant to fly, I would have wings. Yeah. It's, it's, but then you get tired though, wouldn't you? Flying across flying down to Australia with your wings. Not your more own tired wing. than on one of those little pedal things where you drink. <laughs> I'd way rather flap my wings. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. You should see my wingspan. Honestly, I would be a great bird. And on that note, <laughs> on that note, should we do an advice question? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Full of advice. Okay. Um, this is, this is a, a, a question from Taylor Kate. Okay, Taylor Kate. Uh, and Taylor Kate asks, what's the best way of getting through a rough time when you feel like no one understands you? Two words. Mama Mia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and there's a two-parter here because it is a two-parter. So you have to watch them both. And you have to look. You drown everything out. Close the blinds. You watch the first one. Then you watch the second one. And if you're not cured after that, then you got to do it again. <laughs> 
I'm obviously not cured because I do it every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the morning ritual with your with your bed coffee. Bed um, coffee, Mamma Mia. You know, being uh, the question's like when you're getting through a rough time and being misunderstood. Yeah, no one understands you, and it's a rough time. How do you get through a rough time when you're not being when you're not understood? That's my that's my biggest fear in life. I hate being misunderstood or like when people, um, which I guess I'm just gonna say misunderstand me. Like I hate when things go down like that, and I'm like, no, 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 that's not what I meant. No, no, no. Like, oh, you don't you don't get it. Like I hate I hate having to clarify that, so it gives me anxiety <laughs> to think about that actually. But it's like, yeah, it it is hard. I think like. I mean, you got to reach out to people that you, that do understand you and communicate with them. Mm. It's kind of like my real advice. You know what I mean? I mean, also Mama Mia helps, but I think, yeah, yeah, that's a really unfortunate thing. It's like we were talking about earlier, like, I bet the aliens feel really misunderstood. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because we can't understand them. Because we can't understand them. And like, that's got to be really frustrating. Yeah. I think for me... I, I would say it's um, it's not going to help, help in uh, one situation, but having I think you just got to you got to get a better a better quality friendship in your life. If the mm-hmm. people in your life don't understand you, then you're you're picking the wrong people to be in your life. Mm-hmm. And you have to I think you have to choose. Like the idea of chosen family is quite uh, mainstream now, but like you know, there's mm-hmm. a reason why it's such a, a predominant. Um, uh, a queer concept because mm-hmm. because a lot of people don't didn't or still don't understand queer mm-hmm. people and you need people in your life that will understand you and can be there yeah. for you in a rough period yeah. and uh and so like finding i think you've got to be very selective about the people that you allow to be in your life and there's nothing wrong with that mm-hmm. i would say because it's yeah. you've only got so much time and energy and if you are spending it on people that are not lifting you up then you are that you are hanging out with the wrong people Mm -hmm. because yeah you are who you surround yourself with is something my mom used to always say but uh i'm a huge advocate for chosen family there's definitely people in my life like i have i have people in my life that i call like oh this is my cousin or this is my aunt and uncle and the blah 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 and like i'm not related to them they're just like they've become that person to me i always think about that sometimes like that uh family dynamic and how sometimes you're born into a situation where like you know the people that are like oh my mom is like my my sister yeah or like my best friend like we're our dynamic is more like that Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. i've always felt that with me and my brother uh he's older than me but i've always felt like his big sister like just in the way we talk to each other like our dynamic so I kind of think that like it's cool to select the people in your life that and put the, put them into those sort of categories. It's it's interesting, but yeah, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's <clears throat> it, it it's. I think, and this is this is my hot take now. I I don't necessarily think that that, especially for people, you know, if it's if it's family members that don't understand you, um, mm-hmm. it is. And I know that there are sometimes there are cultural elements. Sometimes there are there are other other circumstances that stop that from from being a case. But like there, there's no law that you have to mm-hmm. include your family in the parts of your life that you want. You know, you can keep your family at arm's length if you mm-hmm. have to. Mm-hmm. You can, you, you know, it, it, again, especially like you said, when you're born into it and you just you're in this. You're in this situation where um, maybe family are dragging you down. Maybe the family just don't understand you and they're making the harder times harder. Mm-hmm. That, that um, you, can, you can decide, you can make a decision to, to say, okay, well, I'm not going to allow my family to, to be in this part of my life or I, mm-hmm. I'm going to keep this excluded from their perception of me. It's all about perception, really, mm-hmm. when it comes to these, these kind of situations. Yeah. Um and allowing allowing okay, well, do I want my family to see that part of my my relationships with other people or do I want them to see what I do in my free time? Do I want to see the, you know, those kind of things. And mm-hmm. um and a lot of it is like you know, I don't know 
your age, but um, not you. So, but um, and I'd, know, I'd like to keep it that way. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep that. We'll keep that <laughs> off the record. But um, it's especially when you when you're alone, when you can move out and have your own life. Mm-hmm. If you are, you know, if you have to live with family, that's a very different situation, and it's a different issue when it comes to having that chosen family, as opposed to like living on your own. You can decide how much time you allocate to the people that are dragging you down, and if you, if you are living on your own, and you have just friends that you're dedicating time to that are dragging you down, then then I go back to my original point that you've just got to you got to find better class of friends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good community is a way to, um, yeah, feel understood. Yeah, community. That's where we need to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Collective consciousness. Collective mm-hmm. bargaining. Back to the strike. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Um, I mean, I, you can't plug the things, but is there anything you want to plug that isn't the things? So bad. No, no. <laughs> what kind of plug um you know well you're on socials you're on the social do you post on tiktok so not really is that intentional i don't get no i just don't get joy from posting on tiktok like i don't it doesn't spark joy Mm -hmm. what sparks joy is uh watching videos about therapy watching videos about clothes yes uh watching uh cute ways to decorate you know your bar cart or like cute cocktails with glitter in it and like you know uh Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah like themey things uh cat videos Mm -hmm. are great those spark joy uh creating a video of me talking to my camera by myself does not spark joy right it's like i need somebody to bounce off of and i I don't like to bounce off of myself it's just weird yeah you know what i mean and yeah. like, what I'll start to do it, and then I'll be like, "This is dumb," and then I'll throw my phone. <laughs> so, so not really. But right. I do, I do watch the TikTok. Um, but uh, yeah, I have you know Instagram and the things, and I did, I did download the Threads, but then yeah. I forgot about it after like two days. Yeah, so, so did everyone else. Um, I, I like I said, I mostly use social media to look at memes at this point right um so just yeah tag you in memes is what you're saying honest to god people when people do that it's so fun because i'm like (laughs) oh what i'm first of all there's got to be some kind of paper trail about this though like where like people are gonna start seeing people tag me and stuff that's messed up and i'm gonna be like man now they know like that's exposing me (laughs) like (laughs) don't 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 do that like don't don't tag me in in a meme like that is going to like incriminate me in some way. Like, <laughs> you know, because the thing is I have a broad sense of humor. Mm-hmm. So, and like, I, like, like you said, kind of cynical, you know, like anything that's like about disassociating. That's, I just, I get it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh man, people always, anything that's like a disassociating cat or something, they tag me in it. And I'm like, what made you, what could have possibly. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, how did you know so well? I disassociate all the time. Honestly, it's great. Yeah, it's the only way to live. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not a bad thing. I just. I don't know where I go. No, but you know, I'm, I come I'm back. Glad. I always come back. Yeah, yeah. Well, because you gotta, you gotta get the bed coffee going. Yeah. Um. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. So we'll follow Sloan Avery at Sloan Avery on <laughs> on Instagram and TikTok and Threads and, and Threads. And then um, I've I've only got one thread, and it's a retweet of the Backstreet Boys. And they is it said, a tweet? It's a rethread. It's a rethread, and it <laughs> says, "Oh my God, we're back again." Never That's my post only anything thread. else. Please never post anything else. <laughs> Just keep that no as your only thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, and then and then uh, keep your eyes peeled to those socials for when Sloan is able to promote things that. And get ready for a lot of pink. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Sloan. This has been great. And um, Miles, you're the best. Yay! I'm glad you had fun. Um, And uh, we will be back next week. Thank you very much. Bye.